Wow, there's a lot of parents. Hey, Taya, there's a lot of parents here. Is this, a, I guess this is a, we locked up everything, right? Oh, look at these apartments here. So nice. First day of the pool being opened. All the parents chilling on the chairs. I'm not gonna be doing that. Nope, I'm in the water. I'm in the water. Did you, <laughs> what was that? Wait, say that again. Let me get in camera. Say it again. Who who gave birth to you? Who are you related to? Right, mom. <laughs> Did you actually say I'm related to mom? <laughs> I said, who are you related to? Oh, he's speaking the French now. He's speaking the French lyrics. <laughs> Broken French is better than no French. <laughs> I like your dreads. You tighten them up, eh? Let me see your dreads. It looks nice. Let me see. Wait, no, something in your hair. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah, he looks good though. He did a good job. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. It's here, girls. Do you want to do? Okay, let them go. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Let me cut in. Thank you, girls. Okay, you have to change. It's a silent moment for there. Because <laughs> somebody forgot the combo. <laughs> I sent it to you when I opened it brand new, months ago. So you're not reading your mother's text? Tell me, huh? No. no. <laughs> what? At least she was honest. She said it immediately. How about you? You read my text? All the time. <laughs> uh, are you going to be in the pool? Yeah. Okay. I have the towels here. I'm going to do what? When have I sat on the benches? I've always gotten in the pool. Tara, can you get off your phone? This is our future. Can, can you please get off the phone? Get off the phone. Uh, do, 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 it's a cute little area. Double check, everything's good. You double check the lock. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh, you have to walk. You have to get showers. These are the showers. Come on, shower people. Okay, mommy first. You want me to do first? What? You're supposed to get wet in the shower. Are you gonna do that when you're in the pool? Don't worry about me. Oh, you're gonna put it in the water? No. Get in. Want me to go first? <laughs> no, 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 not with the girl. <laughs> I told you to let me go first. Okay, let mama go first. No? no. <laughs> you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Take it, take it. Oh, no, Matea's gonna do it. Go, Matea. Go, Matea. <laughs> Get it in? Let the scream out. Let it out, let it out. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> That's not washing. That's not washing. Get up, turn, turn, full spin, full spin. And let me go. Oh, you're lucky. Bella, it's your turn. Bella, it's your turn. Hit that button. Hit that button. Hit the. Come on now. Don't, uh, don't whip out. Tay, okay, wanna take her? I'll do it with her. Okay, hold on, Bella. Hold on. You press it. You okay, don't put it in. Okay, ready? Here you go, Bella. Come with me. Ready? Ready? Wait, press the button first. Give me, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Turn it. Oh, your glasses. She cut her glasses. No, I can't. No, I'm not in the pool. You can't. Okay. 
Bella, 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 you got this. <laughs> She's building up the whole enthusiasm. <laughs> Move out the way. <laughs> I will. I'm waiting for you to wipe your mouth. You got the white faces. Okay, Tay Tay, can you go lock this in the locker, please? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. So, welcome to Rosie's Way. We went to another pool in another community for their first day opening. But we're going to go to our pool tomorrow in our community. And as you can see, <laughs> the water's not that bad. In our community, it's just cold. But come along, get your bathing suit, let's go. So how was it? It was good. I wanted to stay. I know you wanted to stay, but we had to. It's because of time. Your sister has to work. Huh? Huh? You're trying to get me on camera to say yes, huh? Nice try. <laughs> we'll see. The other pool near our house opens tomorrow. This one, which is a little what ten minutes away, opens to open today. Well, it's actually opened all weekend, so we'll see. Okay, but you had fun at this pool. Cool. This girl takes so long to get ready and change. I'm telling you. Can we go now, please? I'm freezing. Mm -hmm. Bella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taya! Come on, princess. Let's go, princess. So you guys enjoyed the first day of the opening of the pool? Yeah. Make sure that you didn't leave anything. Okay. Let's go. You do rise yourself a towel on your head. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Hey, girls, what are we parking in? Okay. Bella, <laughs> she's Taya. <laughs> oh, she has a shop over there. She sells, that's what I would do right there. She set up a canteen across the street. Bella, put down the back of your shirt, sweetie. Shoes on. Take big steps. Pool was fun. 
Mind you, I prefer our neighborhood pool better. Most of the kids are coming now because it's after school. Last day of school. Bella got to take the last day of school off, eh, Belle? Summer fun begins. At least for the kids. But the parents were like, no. <laughs> we got them for how many days we got you for? 60 days? Lord help us. Oh, somebody got the barbecue out there. Look at the barbecue. Barbecue. When we were in the pool, I saw smoke. Yeah, barbecue over there. This weekend's going to be busy. Oh, is it next weekend for July the 1st? No, yeah. Yeah. No. No, when? Today's the 21st. No, it's the, the day next. after, I think. The day after, it's the next. But they'll be celebrating this yeah. weekend, next weekend. Yeah. For Canada Day. Mm -hmm. uh, so today's the first. Yeah. And second. Yeah, yeah 21st. Can you see them? Next Friday is the 28th. Saturday is the 29th. Sunday is the 29th. Barbecue! The Does um, June go to 30th? He's got the barbecue going. Getting ready for the Friday. Friday weekend. Here we go. We got people camping out over there. Just chilling. Got him. <sighs> so here we are. We just finished a, an hour at the pool. It, it wasn't our neighborhood pool. Our neighborhood pool is open up tomorrow. But this one's okay. It's not my thing. I like my pool, our area better. Meh. Um, I brought the two girls with me, my two daughters, and they had a good time. We all had a good time together. But for me, this pool was like the chlor. Okay, <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but the chlorine in our pool burns your eyes. You're like, five minutes, you're like, ah, yeah. So you know it's killing the bacteria, right? But in this pool, it tasted like, let me move this. It tasted like, um, I told the girls not to get the water in their mouth because I didn't want them to, it just tasted, ugh, you're not supposed to drink the water. But it almost tasted like uh, salt water, like, and the vats, what do you call it? The, the, I don't know the name, but it shoots the water out and blows, so the water mi mixes. It wasn't on, there's was, like two of them on, and it just wasn't my thing. But my daughters, they liked it, so as long as they were happy, I'm happy. So now we're just waiting on what, Bella? What are we waiting on? We're waiting for my sister to get her our McDonald's coupon so we can go to McDonald's. Yeah, so I'm letting them have a McDonald's day today. Ugh. But yeah, so that's okay though. They're enjoying themselves and I'm glad. That, okay. Bella, today was Bella's last day at school. Taya's been off for a few weeks, but Bella's. But I didn't let her go to school today. I just let her enjoy the last day because, you know, um, that's just how I am. But uh, yeah, as you can see, my skin's kind of dried out from the water and the pool. But, and that's how I know there's hardly any chlorine in this pool because when I go into water and it's a lot of chlorine, I'm allergic to it. So after like 20 minutes, my skin gets all white and pasty and yucky. But in this one, no. Hmm. Hmm. But I'm not complaining. How are you doing today? Welcome to Rosie's Way. Thank you for returning. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. All right, your family. So let's continue on this journey. Can you hear the birds chirping? Yeah. So cool. They're welcoming summer. I think today's officially the first day of summer on uncle's birthday. June the 21st, yeah. Oh, look, they have an, the wolf. Look at, remember last when we first moved here? Uh, and there's a, the wolves that come around here? Oh. 
Yeah, because today was supposed to be the first official day of our neighborhood pool opening. So we're going to go check it out and see. How's the freezy? It's good. Look at my prince. <laughs> cool. Like my dad got it for me. Yeah. That's cute. Would you like some camera? Only you, Belle. Only you. <laughs> How are you gonna tease the people through the camera with a freezy? Offer them again. Tell, show them what you just, just what did you say a second ago to the camera? I said, would you like some camera? <laughs> They're gonna go. <laughs> See, they finally mowed the grass here, eh? They finally mowed the grass. Look. The kids are coming out in their barefoot. Cold. Yeah, it'll be cold. Because it's going to be freezing when you come out of the pool. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I can hear them now. From, from usually, I guess by the middle of summer, it's going to be way louder. Yeah. Does the pool close on July? No, it's open until I think it's end of August. So today, today is the first day of the pool being open. This art at our, in our in our uh, cafe, in our uh, neighborhood. I, I was expecting a lot more people, but then again, we came pretty late because it closes within an hour. But I like it this quiet because then Bella, well, here she goes, she's sitting on the edge. She won't go in yet because her dad's not going in and I'm not going to go in right now. And um, her sister's not here to help her. The reason I'm not going in is because, hold on, I'll explain it to you. Let me just show you around. Like I said before, let me turn this around for you. Like I said before, that's one thing about um, Montreal, Quebec. They have a they have a neighborhood play park in every corner of your neighborhood, so it's really good. And at one point, we had two pools like this within a ten minute walk of each other, so it's really great. And it's a, and it's free. It's free. Um, this park here, there's. They got the children's little one and they got the, the pool. They don't have much. And then there's another play park over there. But um, it's actually good for the parents because we can sit in this area and watch our children. Right? So it's a good thing. But um, I'm going to put some footage of, of... Yesterday I took Isabella to another uh, neighborhood and their pool. And we had an okay time. It was just the water. The, the, the water itself was... You could smell that it wasn't, there was not enough chlorine in it to uh, sanitize, for, you know, for cleansing us. So I was just like, move. And then that, the reason there's a fly. Well, you know me with flies and bugs. <laughs> so 
So the reason was um, I'm not going in today is because I ended up getting an earache last night and a headache from the water going in my um, ears. And I forgot about last summer. It just started a couple summers ago after we were earplugged. And I completely forgot because I was so excited to be taking Bella and go with her sister to another park and to go swimming. Man, I'm tell you, by the time um, I got home, I drove home with the girls, my head was pounding and there's water coming out of my ear and it's like, oh gosh, I can, and then it was like, ding, light bulb. I remember now, um, I'm getting bit up. I'm getting bit up by these mosquitoes. <laughs> um, anyways, I got it. ended up having a headache all night, waking up with a headache um, because the water got in my ears. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I completely blanked about where, where in the, it was my own fault. It was my own fault. But, so that's why I'm not going in with her right now. I'm gonna give my ears a rest. And then, but throughout the summer, we're gonna be doing a lot of swimming. We're exercising for both of us and for fun times. So we just gotta get her to learn how to um, swim better. She's learning, she's learning, but she'll learn. She's learning, she's learning, but she'll learn. <laughs> As you can see, there's not much kids out. But let me tell you, by next weekend, it's gonna be rammed packed. Rammed packed. So I think now would be a perfect time for a story time because while I'm sitting here watching Isabella, um, you know, playing the, in the pool, I think now would be the perfect time for a story time, but I'm trying to get a nice angle here. There we go, there we go. Cause it's getting, it's one of those days where it's like, I gotta get my, my shot in here, hold on. Yeah, if I do it this way. There, can you see me better? Oops. How about now? It's probably too dark, I think. But, um... One second, let me see if I can get a better angle on this camera. So, it's story time. Yes, or was I? Sorry, I had to cut the camera there for a minute because I had to get a good angle and I was tired of holding my arm like this. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so, where was I? Okay, so my story of the day is this. Story time. Woohoo! So... Uh, like I said, uh, years ago, I did uh, invest in-store investigations and we never wore uniforms and we had this one store owner that called us in and said that, you know, he, he's having major theft. It, it was terrible. It was out of control. So we were like, my boss was like, okay, I'm going to send a few people in and this is what we're going to do. Now, years ago, I don't know if this still exists. I really honestly don't know if this still, stuff is still around. I, I, I'm assuming it is, but with the internet and everything now, people who are avid thieves will be googling that stuff and trying to figure out how not to get caught but back in the day what it would be that we would do in-store investigations we dress like shoppers we dress like management we dress like they wouldn't know that we were um uh, we had um our card said uh we had an investigator's um license and we had a security license so we had to have you could get a dual or you could get individual so i had a dual i had a security guard license and i had an investigator's license um together it's just more money and more for the test for the exam so anyways what happened was um we I, I i got on that site not just myself a few other individuals that i worked with and the theft was pretty bad so we just kind of blended in um as as new hirees and or or you know or they say oh that's a floor walker which a floor walker would be a security guard who goes around to catching shoplifters and um, that's what we used to call them back in the day and if the staff knew it was a floor walker they you know they try to make friends with us or they try to make friends with whom they thought it was but then that person was no good for the 
um, in-store investigations for the employees. That was good for in-store theft. But when they needed us to do in-store investigations, we never told them who we were. They just assumed that we were sent from head office or management and we were, or we were new employees or whatever it may be. So um, there, years ago, there was this stuff that we'd use to catch um, in-store um, employees theft from cash. Now, as, as cashiers, you would get, I think you, this still happens, you get a $100 float. So that's your, you take your cash drawer and you'd go and start your shift and that would be your $100 float. So at the end of the night, um, the supervisor or the manager, it's mostly management that does it, not so much the supervisor, but in this day and age, it's changed a little bit. They would, uh, you, the cashier would take out their tills and they would bring it to the, the supervisor or the manager and the manager would count out the float, the till, which is a base was 100, so they removed the 100. They knew that was supposed to be there no matter what. And then after that, the profit would be what was made in sales, right? So for example, if it's a $100 float, and, they meant, and the, your till is 1,200, then that 100 was sit, and then that's 1,100 that you've made in sales, like that you've sold, of items uh, shoppers bought. You follow me? So it got to the point where the theft was so bad in this store that this, this, these individuals or this individual was stealing even gum, candy, um, um, pops, chips. People would buy their snacks and leave it in their lockers for the next day or for the end of their shift or when they got break. By the time they got back, it was gone. So our main concern was, and the store owner's main concern was, you know, I want to find out where my money's going. Like, well, who's doing this? Like, this is crazy. It's out of control. So <laughs> I know this is going to sound really brutal, but it's funny. It's funny. Um, there was this stuff that we could use to catch an individual. Literally, no pun intended, red-handed. In this case, blue-handed. Or, yeah, you're, you're putting it together. Okay, so towards the end of the tail, uh, the cash out days, we got um, managers to leave like money in the cash, uh, it, it, the till drawer underneath. Cause you know how you put your twenties or fifties and hundreds underneath. We'd leave sticks of gum and we'd leave packages of gum in lockers. We'd leave, um, you know, lockers that are supposed to be secure. Um, and we just leave, you know, leave it around and it would be done towards the end of the shifts, right? So follow me. Don't look, don't stay with me. So if the gum's not there all the entire day because, uh, and, or candy's not there the entire day, but towards the end of the, the night, you know, a couple hours before the end of the shifts or just a few minutes before the end of the shifts, these, gum, these, these gums and candies would be placed into the tills. But the ones in the lockers who are getting picked, they would stay in the lockers, locked up, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, fast forward a few days because I think the people were kind of suspicious when they saw new faces coming into the store. You know, they have to search it out, to get their feelers out. Um, sorry, Bella's freezies like there. Um, so <laughs> this is funny. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to get my, my train of thought here. And these bugs are crazy out here. <laughs> um, so after look, fast forward a few days and cash outs going on, blah, blah, blah. Now keep in mind, employees and staff, supervisors, management know that when it comes to cash out time, you bring your tills to the, the management's office, the managers or the supervisors will let them take your tills and then you have a readout slip. The readout slip's already placed into your, into your, into your till, um, in your drawer. And then that's passed on to the management. The management just goes into the system. They cash out everything. They count everything on the charts, on the lists. And then the, the, the readouts will tell what's supposed to be the profit made. So, and supervisors, uh, only on special occasions, mostly managers at the time back then who would count the tills. That was it. They would, that only they were able to do it. Once you the, the drawers were passed through the window, no employees other than management was supposed to be in that office counting out the floats and counting out the monies and, and setting up the tails for the next shift or the next day. Okay, or, or doing the, the deposit uh, drops in the, the safe. So anyways, right, keep in mind, nobody else but managers are supposed to be in there. After a few days, we caught the people because, I <laughs> guess how we caught them. This stuff that I was telling you about, this candy, this gum, once you chew it, it's blue. It stays blue, sometimes two to three days. Now you're thinking, oh, but that you can get gum that bubblicious or freezy that can do that. No, no, no. This was blue, and if the, and if once it got into your, your the spit, 
even if you drooled on your chin, the blue would follow. If it got onto your fingertips, right? Because remember, at first, it's not blue. It's clear. It's clear, right? Did I say that before? <laughs> it come, You can't see it. It's clear. But once it sets into the pores and it sets into the money and it sets into whatever you touch, it goes blue. Now you're following me. You're getting it. So they caught uh, the, we caught one with a locker because they were able to, to go into somebody's locker. They stole the gum. They stole whatever else was in there. And they were eating this gum. And this blue followed them around. So that's how that person got caught. That was that one was easy. But it was a cash out. It was a cash out that blew our minds. Once the, 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 the cashiers and the staff were bringing in their tills, being honest people, they were being pulled in and reprimanded for having short tills. Now you could say, okay, well, okay, um, management, you know, that's possible. It happens. Yeah, but you're allowed to have like, I think in some stores you can have the most is like $10 short and they'll track it down after that. But anyways, um, we went through the management team. We knew the managers that were on because that's what we had to do. And then we started seeing the blue on the money. We started seeing individuals calling in and asking for shifts off. We started seeing people just doing some weird stuff, trying to, you know, different lotions, different removers, you know, it was terrible. When what we figured out, it wasn't just one individual that was involved, it was quite a few of them. It was an in-store theft, like a group. And one of the individuals was a, was a cashier who, I don't know what was going on, but was allowed into the management office. And, and I don't know if the managers trusted this individual or, well, I can't say that part i don't know but this individual ended up <laughs> the blue ended up onto the bills ended up onto the fingers ended up onto uh, the individual's face and them not realizing it <laughs> yeah can you imagine walking around like going home at the end of your shift thinking that nobody's caught you and you've got this stuff all over your hands because now it's because the body sweat is making it come out blue are you following me well, that's how we caught a lot and we and we and we saved the store manager so much money because it's called I don't remember the name of the gum or the candy or the liquid that was used, but it was brutal because like I said, it goes on clear. You can't see it. It's after your it hits your, your sweat and your in the pores or water or something. That's when it starts to come out with the colors and you cannot get it out. You cannot brush it out. You cannot. Um, the only stuff there, there's a liquid stuff that you can the management would have or the police have or security team would have. You can't drink it. The stuff that's in your mouth, you, you're stuck with it. Everybody knows you're a thief for a couple of days. And that's how a lot, and now I don't, I don't know if they still use it now because there's going to be a lot of people saying, oh, I found the gum and I ate it. I'm going to sue. I'm going to sue because you guys are trying to frame me. So I don't know if the things have changed. But that's how we caught a lot of in-store theft back in the day. Fingers, finger markings with the crystal blue fingerprints on bills that should never, never have been touched by these individuals. Um... Now, when you say, well, they stole it, how would it be there? Because they, you know, they're looking for the bigger bills. They're looking for the bills that are like not too brand newish looking. They're looking for, you know, a uh, uh, coin, whatever it may be. Because back then we had dollar bills and $2 bills, not, not loonies and toonies. So they don't want the little tiny bills. And so some of the smart ones would go after the $2 and $1 bills. Yeah. Um, but other than that, they would go for the big ones. They would go for the 20s and the 50s. You know, and some of them would get greedy and think if they could cover it up and leave it and just take some, they would not get caught. It would be blamed on somebody else. But in this case, when their fingers start touching the bills that they shouldn't have been touching, right? They shouldn't have been in there doing cash out. They shouldn't have been in there um, um, doing the manager's job. They shouldn't have been in there because remember, these, these gums and candies were put in at the end of the shifts. Because they can't say, oh, I was, I was, uh, I was, yeah, I saw the gum and I ate it and I was on the floor. Because we can just rewind the cameras and we can see that they didn't, they, they didn't. They ate the gum while they were sitting there who met with whomever they were working with as a team to, to steal. And that's how they got caught. It was crazy. And at that same location, we had what's called, um, we have people that come in who are like 100 pounds wet and leave about 300 pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
<laughs> they, they wear what's called um, uh, drop skirts or uh, drop pants. So they put mesh inside of their pants and or in the bottom of their skirts and they would drop steaks. I'm sure if you Google it, you can see it. Now it's like people still do it. And they would slide meat into the, just drop it or, or pasta or whatever it may be. Some people got we caught with cans and turkeys, especially around Thanksgiving. And and they would drop it into these drop skirts and they have a string at their waist and they pull the string tight. So, and then they just walk out as an overweight, obese person. Yeah, we caught lady with turkeys and steaks and whatnot. And she came in like a stick figure person, skinny, 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 and left an morbid obese person. And she was carrying it when we finally caught her. She had a string attached to her wrist that was attached to the, the mesh bag in between her legs under her long skirt. And she would pull that up to carry the weight. And that's how she was able to carry about mm, 300, 400, 500, uh, $500 worth of groceries out of a store and never got caught. Because who are we to stop a person who's, who's obese and can hardly walk, right? But if you're watching hard enough on the cameras or if you're watching a, 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 on the floor and you see that person come in and that person's nice and slim wearing a long skirt looking good and then that person's leaving just huge you, you, you know what i'm saying yeah man they still exist those drop skirts still exist those drop pants still exist even they have the vests now that they can make themselves look a, a morbid obese by stacking as much food sometimes flat items mostly meats or whatever it may be into their into their vests and into their into their uh, jackets yeah go google it if you don't believe me they i know that they're still around i know that those outfits and those get-ups and those um they would make for stealing are still around <laughs> it's hilarious isn't it but it's life that's how i don't get it but it's life for most people who do that, that kind of living who enjoy stealing, who enjoy thinking that they can get away with everything. I don't know. You have to ask them. I don't know why they would do it, but they do. They did. So when we caught these uh, thieves, the ones that would wear the drop skirts or the drop pants or whatever, the vests, we had to wait. We literally had to wait until they had both feet on the property outside of the store. Reason being, if we tried to arrest them while they were still in the store or pay uh, or going through the till, I'm excuse me, going through the cash to pay for some items and to take the rest, they could turn around and sue us and saying that no, they had changed their minds, they were just deciding what they were going to buy. So we could not arrest them until they had literally, literally walked out the door and set foot on the outside of the door. Once that happened, we would go in or out and grab them. And sometimes it was a fight. I mean, it was brutal. It was absolutely brutal. But we catch a lot of them. And a lot of them, they would come in teams, right? So they would come in, instead of not one person who was doing it, because you had to have a lookout. And then we had to be the lookout for that lookout. <laughs> so, you know, those were fun days. Would I do it now? Nah. Nah, it's too dangerous. It was dangerous back then, but times have changed. Where people will use whatever they can to, to get away but you know I'm glad I experienced that I'm glad I got to experience a lot of things in life now when I look at it it's like oh that's that's it's a blessing you got to experience that but at the time when I was doing it, it was like oh how many jobs do I have to work oh my goodness what is this what is this but now that I'm older I'm glad that I experienced those things because I can tell my children the story I can tell you the story you know of back in the day when <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, that's my story of the day. I got many, 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 many more. Trust me. Trust me. Mama Rose has got this. <laughs> so I hope you're having an awesome weekend. It's a beautiful day. It's over. There's an overcloud, but it's, it's a still a beautiful day. I hope you went outside to enjoy it. And I hope you're spending time with your loved ones. And I'm glad you joined me. And uh, it was good seeing you. So again, watch, like, subscribe, and share, 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 share. All right? I'll see you soon. God bless.